What's cracking? Brian Tong here, and welcome to the Apple Buy for everything inside the world of Apple. Now, I'm on a little break right now, but through the magic of video production, we're putting together a show so we have a little bit of news, your emails, and an iPhone case giveaway. But let's start off with a story, and you maybe heard of it. There's this upcoming indie film titled Jobs about Steve Jobs, and the actor playing SJ will be Ashton Kutcher, who also happens to look like NBA sharpshooter Kyle Korver, which adds nothing to this story. Now, you may love or hate that idea, but if Ashton is Steve Jobs, who would the Applebyte cast for the other characters in the movie? So let's start this off. What about his arch nemesis and rival Bill Gates? Now, if we're talking to young Bill Gates, this one is easy. Topher Grace from that 70s show fame. All right, Steve Wozniak, he was SJ's best bud and Apple's co-founder. He could be played by Zach Galifianakis or maybe even Jack Black. Both solid choices, but I'd have to push hard for Harry from Harry and the Hendersons. All right, what about John Scully, the man who Jobs brought in from Pepsi to lead the company and the man who eventually kicked Steve out of Apple? I'd say Jeff Daniels, but more because he starred in a movie with an appropriate title, Dumb and Dumber. <laughs> All right, John Ruby Rubenstein, who led Apple as their senior VP of hardware during their turnaround and tried to turn things around for HP, he could be played by Mortal Kombat creator Ed Boon. See the resemblance there. And what about his wife, Lauren? Well, let's just sign up Kim Basinger right now. Or you could just say screw trying to find a real actress and sign up supermodel Kate Upton. I just wet myself. And finally, Phil Schiller, Senior VP of Worldwide Marketing and active in Apple product launches. Again, come on, let's go back to Harry for this one. I'm telling you, there's a serious resemblance. Now we're going to turn this back to you, the Apple Biters. Who would you cast in the movie? We'd love to hear what you say. Send us emails at theapplebite at cnet.com. And since we're talking about emails, let's get to a few from you, the Apple Biters themselves. Now Yankee Green writes in and asks, yo, yo. I love your show and watch it every week, but when is the new touch coming out? Yankee, it's pretty much an established pattern now, and Apple tends to refresh their music line around the end of August to early September time period, but it might be earlier if they push the next iPhone to a fall release, so look for that. Eugene writes in with, I'm thinking of buying a MacBook for school. Should I buy now or wait? In other words, when's the best time to buy one? Thanks. Huge, we've told you before, wait for around the June-July time period when the new laptops with Ivy Bridge are expected to come out before the back-to-school season. Do not buy one now. Red Gemini PA says, hey, Brian, I'm curious what a laptop is. You seem to use that word every time laptop should be used. You're supposed to be a tech geek. Even mere mortals know it's laptop, not laptop. I'm sure you're using OS X Lion. Try spelling laptop with autocorrect turned on it'll be replaced with laptop every time. Now, between you calling laptops laptops and the irritating iPhone 5 to refer to the next sixth generation iPhone, I don't find myself wanting to watch the Apple Byte very often. Please stop. All right, Red, I just hope you enjoyed watching me read your email on your laptop. And Matthew Skritzbazak asks, how old are you, Brian? Matthew, if you want me to be honest, I'm 65. It's Asian genetics and my is real smooth. All right, guys, let's show you some really cool stuff happening with an amazing Kickstarter project that goes by the name Galileo. It's an iOS-controlled robotic iPhone platform with spherical rotation capability, and it can be used for video conferencing, cinematography, 360-degree panoramas, and more. Now, it's reached its goal for funding. I'm getting one, and the project is a go, but it's something we're checking out and truly innovative in the accessory world. Also in the accessory world, the Playa case. And with a name like that, it better deliver. All right, get this, it's a case with a slide out compartment where you can store condoms. It's releasing this summer for $29.95 and actually the team at Annex Products put together a little video for us. Don't hate the player, hate the game. Cause Chris is getting laid every day, thanks to the player. Uh, no, he's not. All right, let's make sure you the Apple Biters are using protection with a case giveaway from our friends at True Protection and these awesome cases from North Shore Oahu artist Heather Brown. They're made of 100% recycled plastic and a portion of the proceeds goes to the Wyland Foundation. She's a favorite of mine. We've got five of them and guys, trust me, win this case, give it to your girl and you can thank me later if you know what I'm saying. So email us at theapplebite at cnet.com. We'd like to hear who else you might cast in the movie for any roles and roles we might have missed. Anything goes and we'll randomly pick five winners for next week's show. 
And I almost forgot our chicken soup winner. That goes to Doug Vanderwell from Maryland. All right, that's going to do it for this week's show. Send us your emails to theapplebite at cnet.com. Thanks for watching. We'll see you guys next time for another bite of the apple.